Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up a TSL2561 Adafruit Lux sensor with the Raspberry Pi. So the things you're going to need for this build include a Raspberry Pi, um, can be any flavor. You're going to need a set of jumper cables. So here I have six female to female jumper cables, but you'll only need four for this build and you will also need a LUX sensor. Um, in this tutorial, we are using the TSL2561. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see here, I've already wired up the um, female portion of the jumper cables to the sensor. Um, the pins that we are concerned with right now are the VIN, ground, uh, SDA and SCL pins. So you're gonna, there's gonna be four pins that are gonna be hooked up to the Pi. So let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, we're gonna plug the the VIN into uh, three three volts. So that's the first pin on the second row. Um, put, we're gonna plug ground to ground. So this ground goes to the third pin on the top row. And then all that's left is uh, SDA and SCL. So this is an I2C device. So um, if I remember correctly, SDA is the second pin on the bottom row. And SCL is the third pin on the bottom row. And that's pretty much it. There you go. Now it's all hooked up. Um, we're going to have to set a few things up on the Pi to get I2C um, up and running and then we can move on to the code so let's ho head over to the computer. Okay so now that I have uh, SSH into my Raspberry Pi I need to enable the I2C um, interface so we do sudo raspy-config navigate to interfacing options and go to I2C and just hit yes mine's already set to yes so okay and then finish so now that that's done um, you're gonna wanna go through this tutorial on Adafruit it's kinda similar to a previous video I made with the uh, 16 channel servo driver um, so I'll put this link in the description along with um, all the other relevant links um, for this tutorial. So um, I'm going to quickly test to see if the if it, it has detected the sensor. So I'm going to type on, um, sudo i2c detect dash y1, and you see that on this column 9 number 39 so we know that that's good so we can go ahead and um, go ahead and pull the code so the next thing we need to do is navigate to this git project and clone this repository so I'm gonna go ahead and copy this URL and type git clone So now that so now that's done. Now that that's done, um, we can navigate to that directory. So cd tsl two five six one, and um, we want to navigate to the Python subdirectory. So cd python, um, and then uh, if you run this script now, it should work. Um, so python TSL2561. Oh, oops. Dot .py is important. And you can see here it gives us the uh, full spectrum reading, infrared value, and visible light value. But I'm quickly going to make a few changes for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a uh, text editor and essentially try to make this run in a loop. And it went pie chart. Okay, just one quick 
quick second while I pull up the IDE up. So uh, this is the code here. Pretty straightforward. So all we're gonna do is uh, type while true and then select everything below and hit tab. And I'm also gonna print just for readability's sake. And then save that. So now this should run in a, a loop. Adding a slight delay so every five seconds it'll update. Um, and now that that's done, let's go ahead and run our uh, run our script. So you can see it posts the value, and then it should update. Um, so now I'm going to go over and flash a light, and you should see the values change. So I'm just flashing your light right now on the sensor. And there you go, you can see um, the infrared and visible light value um, spiked quite a bit. And that's pretty much how you get the uh, Lux sensor up and running with the Raspberry Pi. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today. You know, uh, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And yeah, stay tuned for more videos. Peace.